Hey YouTube, Long Boys Post 1975. Is the retro community, you know, our, our retro gaming channel videos ultimately driving up the price of the games we buy and eliminating, you know, finding true rare sort of tiles in the world? I can't take credit for this question, although I would like to put a twist and a spin on it, otherwise it'll be the shortest answer ever. This question was left as a comment on one of my previous videos by a YouTuber called Immune Limb. Dude, I'm so sorry if I butchered your name. I, I, I struggle to pronounce it. I'll put a link to his channel in the doohickey down below. But his original question was, do you think that YouTube retro video shows such as the Game Chasers, etc., are highlighting and or exposing rare titles in the wild to the resellers, you know, eBay's, thus driving the prices up and eliminating true bargain finds? Short answer, yeah. Um, big channels may have, you know, more traffic and, you know, reach a wider audience, but I think pretty much ultimately as a community, we are all responsible of this to some degree. I'm not saying there's any malice involved, that's really not the point I want to make, but, you know, even the simplest of pickup videos, it's human nature. If you find something that you're, you're, you're generally pleased and happy about, you'll, you know, you'll shout out with people. You go, oh my God, I can't believe I found this game for this price in this place. It's amazing. And there'll be those outside of this community who will look upon that as a source of in information. You know, d d just take, you know, you know, sorry, look upon it as a financial opportunity. To me, it's because it, it is a source of contention for some people. They, they don't like it. They think it's not fair that these people can take advantage of us, you know, talking with each other and, and having a passion that we share and use it for financial benefit. My thought on resellers is simply this. I don't like it. I'm really not a fan of them. I think they're exploiting people's love and passion of something. But at the same time, you know, morally wrong, yes. Legally wrong, no. They're not really doing anything wrong. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. But they're just they're just doing what people do you know when there's a source of information be it you know like youtube be it the news be it anything there will always be those who exploit someone's love of something and that's why it doesn't bother me because i think essentially it's the price you pay for having a hobby should you have to pay no i don't think so but i just accept that it's there by that i mean we have this great great community we you know we we share information with each other we say if you try going to this shop if you, if you see this game for this pick it up you know and and that's natural and that's a wonderful wonderful thing and that's why i love this community we're, we're we're a group you know of individuals who look after each other there will always be and it's not solely the preserve of youtube it's you know it exists within any hobby you know that other people who don't share that hobby but look at it from a perspective of cold hard cash and profit will take advantage of you will always be your group of people you know who share this passion and those outside who will take advantage of it or use just look upon it purely simply as a source of information as i said i don't like it but i accept and understand that it happens and i think this is where I, i've had arguments with people actually about this where i just think it's the price we pay I'm not justifying it, I just say it's the price we pay for having a hobby. And to some degree, if, it, if it, we have to pay this price to, to have this brilliant, brilliant little, you know, community where we talk and exchange all these wonderful things with each other, then, uh, then, then I'll pay it because what's the alternative? Everyone shuts up shop, no one shares their passion, their loves, you know, uh, their sort of video game, you know, tips and stuff like that. We just shut up shop and don't even talk to each other. Is it right, you know, that people will take advantage of this? No, that's not the point I'm trying to make. I'm just trying to say it's going to happen anyway. Uh, possibly we are overinflating prices ourselves by, you know, just by just doing what is natural with pickup videos and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm, I'm prepared to pay that price. Uh, I, I guess you could almost call it a tax on... Um, your, your hobby, your passion, your love for retro video games. Anyway, I, th I think the question that I want to ask is, do you agree that, you know, we are overinflating prices and does it piss you off? Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you there.